Welcome to the Qualifications for Professional Case Managers module of the CMSA Standards of Professional Case Management Practice course. Be sure to download and review the narrative that corresponds to this module. The narrative contains more detail than the course content will cover. Each narrative also shares the bibliographies and resources that support the development of this module. Be sure to complete this module in its entirety and answer the post questions at the end. Let's get started. There was a change in the 2016 standard title to qualifications for professional case managers. The professional case manager should maintain competence in her or his areas of practice by having one of the following. Current, active, and unrestricted licensure or certification in a health or human services discipline that allows the professional to conduct an assessment independently as permitted within the scope of practice of the discipline or, in the case of an individual who practices in a state that does not require licensure or certification, the individual must have a baccalaureate or a graduate degree in social work or another health or human services field that promotes the physical, psychosocial, and or vocational well-being of the persons being served. The CMSA standard specifies minimum qualifications that an individual must possess in order to appropriately identify as a professional case manager. Unfortunately, the healthcare industry has misused the case manager job title to include everything from utilization review coordinators to health coaches to administrative clerks. Title protection refers to allowable use of certain job titles. Specifically, it is unlawful for an individual to call himself or herself by a specific professional title without the requisite education and training for that title. CMSA is pursuing title protection for case managers by presenting to legislators and to adopt the Case Management Model Act. Case managers are licensed professionals with the experience to support consumers and their families. Why are education, experience, and expertise so critical to the professional practice of case management? It begins with an understanding of the fundamental philosophy of case management as being that when an individual reaches the optimum level of wellness and functional capability, everyone benefits. The individuals being served, their support systems, the healthcare delivery systems, and the various reimbursement sources. Because the case manager's focus is to support the client in their return to optimum levels of wellness and autonomy, it is not a job that can be undertaken by an individual who lacks the appropriate underpinning of education and experience. Because a case manager's educational background varies across many disciplines, it is each professional case manager's responsibility to remain informed of and comply with legislative and regulatory requirements that apply to his or her discipline at federal, state, and local levels. The professional case manager must pursue educational opportunities in order to maintain a level of competence within their practice area. Seeking continuing education and supportive skills and knowledge development may be accomplished through a wide variety of offerings such as live events, online programs, or asynchronous learning. The professional case manager maintains current knowledge regarding policies, laws, and regulations affecting his or her professional practice. Although the case manager's skill set may be transferable, when changing setting or specialty of practice, the prudent case manager proactively pursues educational opportunities and collaborates with the employer to ensure an adequate orientation period and learning benchmarks are clearly defined. One way in which a case manager is able to demonstrate proficiency is through acquisition of a credential that is applicable to their setting of practice. There are a number of certification organizations that credential case managers. Sally Jensen will provide an overview of the Case Management Model Act. Hi, my name is Sally Jensen and I am a case manager. I wanted to talk to you about the importance of title protection. Case Management Society of America is working diligently with legislators to get the Case Management Model Act enacted into legislation. Here are the reasons this is so important. Case managers are licensed professionals with the experience to support consumers and their families. 
Several professional groups, including CMSA, develop and maintain professional standards of practice, along with several nationally recognized certification bodies. Using non-licensed, certified individuals for case management can jeopardize patient care and creates opportunities for fraud. The Case Management Model Act addresses many of the key building blocks to improve clinical outcomes. The Model Act can be configured to be national in scope or more targeted to support a range of value-based purchasing initiatives. Case managers can serve as the linchpin on many initiatives, including collaborative care. By leveraging a wide range of resources and utilizing dynamic population health solutions, the Model Act creates a pathway to healthcare integration. Case management is one of the most effective solutions in healthcare and must become an integral part of medical management system. Please support the efforts of CMSA and title protection. This is your profession.